boys. So, Boris and Nimrod have just flushed two deer. They were just thick, hiding behind this thicket here. You saw one of them run off behind us. Um, obviously taking shelter. And one went in that direction. So literally just where Nimrod is now, they were just lying down just to the right of him. The wind's coming from behind. It's really chilly. So obviously it's obviously a good spot for shelter. So just have a, a bit more of a, a gander through here, shall we, Boris? Let's see what we can find. Good boys. Get up. Let's go. Get on. So they were just under this tree that we're going to have to crawl under. Hey. This is the joy of having spaniels. You're going to get dirty. People with retrievers don't end up as mucky as spaniel owners. Good boys. This is where the deer were. Just here. Okay, go. On. Bracken's great for spaniels. Bracken and rushes. It holds loads of scent, particularly when it's dead like this and the ground's damp underneath. And rushes, you can really concentrate on working a pattern with your dog with rushes because they tend to grow in clumps. So you can go from one clump to another. It's a really good way of um, putting some pattern into a young dog and an old dog as well. And of course it holds scent really well. So this is a nice spot. We've not really done much training up here, but it's a really good spot for them. There's the odd woodcock, pheasant and grouse about. Although with me talking, it's unlikely that we'll see any. But the boys are enjoying it. Working away nicely, not too far away. Which is good, not needing too much whistle. It's calling him Rod back. And we'll just and as he comes back, a good trick when your dog starts pulling, call him back. Good lad. And then just cast off in a different direction. So we're telling him come back and we're gonna go and have a look over here. And that just helps to bring him in and encourage them to stay a bit closer. Have a look in here. Get in. Get in. Get in. Good lad. Good lad. No. Get in, Rod. Good lads. Get in. Get in. That's what you want out of a spaniel. You want them to be getting in, not jumping over stuff like some people do. But you want them to be getting right in there, like Boris is. Throwing the cover over his back. Really having fun. And sniffing, exploring, looking and doing his job. Good boys.
get in, get in. Good lads, good boys. You know, and then find interesting cover. Encourage your dog to, uh, to get in, just say, get in. Point to the cover. You know, in early days you might want to throw a tennis ball in there or a dummy or something, just to encourage them. Come on in. Here you come. And that's it. Good fun. More dead trees to climb over. You know, and don't stick to paths. You're gonna have to get in the thick of it. You know, where it's quiet, where the, where the sand doesn't be disrupted, where you might find game. Just explore. Without breaking your bloody ankles. Boys. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Come on in. Good boys, good boys, that's good, a solid seven, eight minutes of hunting, we'll stop there, although I think the dogs have got different ideas, but that'll do us for today, off we go.